In this video, I will be sharing on Zoom whiteboards five qualities that I look for in ladies that would consider dating. So, new whiteboard, open, collaborate. There we go. Text. All right. So, five qualities. Here we are. Label it five. Qualities that I would will excuse me look for for in a lady I am considering considering dating. Okay, let's make that big. Sixteen thirty six. All right, so number one, text. What's the first quality? Number one, and this can vary on the qualities that you're looking for when you're looking for a lady today can change depending on your age, your current goals, etc. So number one would be I can picture her raising the children I am planning uh, to have. So that's one. I make that bigger. Ah, oh, 24. So number one, I can picture her raising the Children I'm planning to have, or text number two. Number two, how she handles adversity or hard times. Okay, one of my favorite sayings is the last time I checked, this is not heaven. So no matter what happens, there will be times that are going to be challenging. We will all face challenges. We will all face a hard day. Now, when we face challenges on the person you're dating, uh, how do they handle that? Do they completely lose it? Do they go in fits? Do they take it out on you? Do they take it out on others? Do they look for solutions? Or get your advice for solutions or brainstorm ideas or talk about it calmly, really facing something really challenging, et cetera, et cetera. So how they handle adversity, because that will happen and you can't have things get worse by drama that somebody else causes to make it worse. Three. Addictions. You know, you got to avoid addictions and the people we surround ourselves, too. So if there's a addictions, that's a, something that could um, bring you a lot of stress. That's something that could me, me, have their demise and will really be a huge loss for you. So addictions, dangerous addictions, especially if it's drugs or something of that nature. So number four, you know, you can have your own and you can brainstorm these ideas. Mine don't have to be the same as yours. Not everyone wants to have children, et cetera. And then number four, how they treat um, waiters and waitresses. This is really big waitress. Okay. Because how they treat waiters and waitresses is a very important thing because this shows who they really are. If they mistreat them, if they don't show them with respect and and treat them like crap and not um make allowances, like for example, 
There's a huge dinner party nearby, 80 people at a table. You can hear the big uh, dinner party, and that's why your service is not as good or is as fast as it has been in the past, maybe with the same waiter or waitress. So how they treat the waiters or waitresses is a preview of how they'll eventually treat you. Because everyone's on their best behavior at first. So there's a little clue to who they really are. Five, how they treat their parents. How they treat their parents. Is it respect? Is it very hostile? Especially if their parents are elderly and they look down on them because... um. They need their help uh, taking them to the doctor or driving them somewhere when they're old and maybe handicapped or something of that nature, and they resent them or look down on them. So that's a big one. That's another clue. So here we are, the five qualities that I look for in a lady that I'm dating. There could be more, but I chose five. And this ends this session. Not every video I make will use whiteboards. On uh, the next video, we'll get into something that I'm looking forward to talking about. And it's called, in entrepreneurship, it's a new concept I came up with, which is called declaring your major. And I'll describe what that means. Because it's something that really I've had trouble with. And why I haven't achieved my goals thus far? You need to be honest with yourself. Otherwise, you'll never get to where you want to be. Have a great evening. And this concludes this video. Thank you.